My name is Michael Armbrust, and I'm a distinguished engineer, and I work on the Lakeflow team. We want to make it easy to do data engineering. We have a couple of different components. There's Lakeflow Jobs, which does orchestration. We have Lakeflow Connect, which ingests data from different sources. And we have Lakeflow Pipelines, which lets you transform that data. One of the most interesting challenges we're working on right now is Enzyme. Enzyme is an extra layer on top of the Catalyst Query Optimizer that instead of just executing a query once, understands how to update the answer to a query incrementally after it's already been computed. This serves as the basis for our materialized view update algorithm. Instead of always incrementalizing, we actually have a cost model that decides, is it most efficient to fully recompute? Is it most efficient to do kind of physical things like recomputing individual partitions? Or are we gonna use the like more standard uh, incremental materialized view techniques from the database literature? We started the company, kind of founded around this project of Apache Spark, but we didn't stop there. We've actually created multiple open source projects since then. There's been MLflow, there's been Delta Lake, and we just recently open sourced kind of one of our core security technologies in Unity Catalog. People are always looking to solve customer problems, and it doesn't really matter about what they've been working on in the past or what parts of the stack they own. I've seen teams even like scrap the stuff they're working on because we decide it doesn't fit into the larger picture. And people are always excited to do whatever's best, whatever the right solution is, not just you know what they've been doing in the past. We've got leadership that deeply understands technology, and we've got this go-to-market machine of sales and marketing that will introduce you to customers that have hard problems. Your technology can be deployed into the real world. We're not uh, a small company anymore, but we're still a company where a single person can really change the course of the entire company. If you look even just recently at initiatives like Spark Connect, where we've changed the fundamental protocol between the client and the Spark server to be something that is more robust and more secure, that's something that was built by one guy you know, and a whole team in Berlin, and you know, even they're relatively new to Databricks. We've always got too many problems and not enough engineers, and that means that even junior people can have major impact on big initiatives. In one case, we recently integrated Delta Live tables with Unity Catalog, and this was a pretty big re-architecture of the product, and it was led by one of our L4s, one of the new engineers on our team. It's very low ego. We love to debate different ideas, but the goal is always to find what is the best solution for the customer.